Tonight, big changes coming to how people arrested for a crime can get out of jail. An overhaul of the bail process starts today, but the Shelby County DA is resisting critics who say it amounts to a get out of jail free card. Stefan Reels is live to break it down for us tonight. Stefan? Well, Richard, the whole thing around this is talking about people in jail. And according to the Shelby County District Attorney's Office, they say around 75% of Americans in jail, like the ones in 201 Poplar, they're not actually convicted of crimes. In fact, a lot of them are facing the struggle of not being able to pay off the bail that they were given in the first place. And that's what this new reform is centered around. It's focusing on making sure the people who need it most can get it. So that way they won't be waiting for weeks, months, or years to get to their court date. It's harder on the poor. It's harder on minorities. This is an attempt to fix that. Shelby County District Attorney Steve Mulroy calls the new bail system a step towards decriminalizing poverty. Under the old system, the judicial commissioner would make uh, kind of a off the top of their head determination about bail it was often unaffordable and then people would languish behind bars at 201 Poplar for months, sometimes even years. Under the new system, people at 201 Poplar will be able to go to a bail hearing courtroom within 72 hours of their arrest. Depending on their financial status, a new bail will be set and depending on their crime, it could potentially help people avoid waiting for months for a court date. Is this person a danger to the community or is there a significant risk that they'll flee the jurisdiction? If so, we keep them locked up until trial. But if not, then we need to set a bail amount that they could actually afford. However, not everyone feels this is in the county's best interest. Kimberly Charles from All in One Bonding and Insurance tells ABC 24 it's unfair to victims to have people released without recourse and could lead to people becoming repeat offenders due to the jail being a revolving door. But Mulray argues there's no need to worry. There have been studies around the country about both before and after these types of reforms have been implemented and there has been no significant increase in crime, violent or otherwise, so it's really a very small percentage of people who do this. Richard Mulroy also tells me that there could be some added benefits that come with this new bail reform system, mainly focusing on how the speed of it, the fact that people could potentially get a bail set for them within three days, that could help Shelby County address a backlog they're accruing in cases that was caused by the pandemic. That's what we have for right now. Live from outside 201 Poplar, I'm Stefan Reels.